everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how I make amazing potato patties. These potato patties are delicious. They're so easy to make. They don't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make them Jeannie Young style. They're going to be so tasty. You'll never have my potato patties before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need some mashed potatoes. Now let's talk about the mashed potatoes. When you're making this recipe, the mashed potatoes have to be cold. They have to be day old mashed potatoes. These are mashed potatoes that we had last night with our dinner. And of course they sat overnight in a refrigerator. So you don't wanna take them out of the refrigerator until you're ready to start mixing everything up. So we have some mashed potatoes. And you're gonna need a couple other things. <clears throat> Today we're gonna to load these potato patties. I have some leftover ham pieces that we're gonna put in. And you can use chives or you can use green onions like I'm gonna to use today. I have some sweet cream butter. We have some sour cream. And my favorite cheese of all time, we have some shredded sharp cheddar, and we have some flour that we'll be dredging our potato patties in. Of course, you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. You will need some garlic powder, parsley just to make everything nice and beautiful, pepper and salt. Make sure. Your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so one of the first things that you're gonna want to do is season up your mashed potatoes. I'm gonna use the sea salt. Use whatever kind of salt that you love. Okay, keep in mind that I'm pretty sure uh, the day before when you made your mashed potatoes, you seasoned them, so you don't need a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna put some black pepper on just like so. We're gonna go in with some garlic powder. These are not garlic mashed potatoes, but we want that garlic flavor for these mashed potatoes. And we're gonna put a nice amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. I want for the inside of my potato patty to be beautiful. And that's how we're gonna achieve it, by using this um, parsley. Okay, so now what I wanna do, I wanna take this time to mix all of these goodies right into the very cold mashed potatoes, just like so. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this back into the refrigerator and I want to cut this ham up when I come back. I hope you all are having a great day today. Let me know in the comment section below if you all have ever heard of or tasted potato patties. There's a lot of people that's never heard of potato patties. Well, it was something that was like we ate it a lot at my family when I was growing up. My grandma made it, my dad made it, and it was something that I absolutely adored. I'm gonna show you how it's made today. And it's so simple. So now, as far as me making them loaded today is something different that I'm doing. You can load, when you're loading things, like say you're loading a baked potato, you can pal in whatever you like. You know, you wanna put some bacon, put some bacon in there, some cheese, some sour cream. Uh, today we're gonna use the leftover ham. It's gonna be a great addition. Um, so I'm gonna continue to chop up this ham just like so, and I'll be back. Okay, everyone, so I wanted to talk about my memory of eating potato patties growing up while I chop up this ham. I'm gonna chop up all of this ham. Now, my memories of eating potato patties, it was kind of a thing like anytime we had mashed potatoes the day before, of course, you know you're gonna have some leftovers. So you put the leftovers in the refrigerator and the next morning you have potato patties for breakfast. You can even have them for lunch or for dinner like we're gonna to do today. I am so excited to share with you all this recipe and one fond memory that I have as a child. Okay everyone, so here's what our ham looks like, just like so, and I'm just gonna to toss it right in. Okay, we'll mix it later. All right, so we'll get the ham in. We are going to, you could even put sour cream in this mixture right now if you wanted to, but I'm gonna save the sour cream 
for a dipping uh, condiment. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this lovely cheese, put as much as you like into your potatoes, just like this. And then we're gonna set that aside because we need to chop up some of these beautiful green onions. All right, so let's get to chopping. Now, I don't want too many green onions, but I do want this gorgeous flavor that it's gonna give, and it's gonna give a beautiful color as well. All right, and you can see that I'm starting with the light end of the green onions, okay? Really want that nice, strong flavor going throughout, like I said, but not too much. All right, I'm gonna continue chopping these, and when I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, now that I have the green onions nice and chopped up, let's get those in as well. And like I said, think about things like bacon. If you have some ground breakfast sausage that you wanna brown up, brown it up, drain the oil from it, throw it in here and load these mashed potatoes. Okay, so now we wanna take this time to get all this beautiful seasonings and flavors mashed into these potatoes. Now you kind of want to work quickly and the reason why is because by all means we want these potatoes to remain nice and cold so we can form them to a patty. So that's what we're going to do when I come back. Okay everyone, now it's time to have some fun. It's time to get a little dirty. So I've washed my hands and my arms up really well once again, taken off my jewelry. We're gonna go in with our hands and we wanna make up some potato patties, okay? If you kinda handle it lightly like I am, you know, not just smushing it, if your hands won't get too messy. So what you wanna do, you wanna form a ball or you can form somewhat something that looks like a football. I like to form like a little patty like this, almost as if it was a hamburger patty. So now that we've achieved that, let's go ahead and take some flour, get it on there, okay? And then kind of go around the sides, just like so. Put your other hand over and just like this, and voila, we have a potato patty, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of more. This feels like heaven on earth. It is so soft. It's gonna be so light, airy, and fluffy in the inside. It's gonna have a beautiful golden brown crispy outside and so many flavors going all throughout. Okay, everyone, so today we're gonna to be making three patties. Three patties is gonna fit nice and comfortable in our pan to where you don't have to worry about them touching and sticking together because we're gonna really need some room for our spatula to move around. These are gonna be, you wanna be very careful with these, okay? And be really gentle with them because you don't wanna break them up, okay? So once again, we're going in with that flour, dredging the sides, flip it over just like so and if you feel like you need a little bit more flour guess what it's okay and now some of you you might if if you love yellow cornmeal put a little bit of yellow cornmeal in here and it'll give you a really crispiness okay but i grew up on just flour alone that's all you need okay everyone so we have our last patty nice and pattied up same thing pretty simple listen here this recipe is so simple, yet it's so tasty. Get those kids in the kitchen with you. They will love to do this. They'll have so much fun when they get to play with their food. They're gonna wanna eat it. Absolutely, they will. Okay, so now that we have this one nice and pattied up, I have a little bit of vegetable oil in my pan that I want you to take a look at. It's not a lot. Really, it's just a little tiny bit. Okay, just enough to fry up our patties. And when I, after I wash my hands, I'm gonna come back, we're gonna take a little bit of that beautiful sweet cream butter, throw it in the pan, and fry these bad boys up. Okay, everyone, our pan is nice and hot. Let's go ahead and put around about a tablespoon and a half of this beautiful sweet cream butter right into our pan. Now listen here, this is salted sweet cream butter. You don't have to use this kind of butter. Any kind of butter will do the trick, okay? It's gonna help to um, give these potato patties a nice golden brown color and give them great flavor as well. About a tablespoon and a half. Now once this gets hot and bubbly and frothy, just like that, that's when we're gonna put the potatoes in. I'm gonna start to grab them and you can see that I put gloves on, that way I don't have to wash my hands again. Okay, so just like this, kind of form it once again the butter is hot and frothy. Let's get them in the pan just like so. And that sizzle that we see in here 
you're gonna wanna see and hear that. If you don't see and hear that sizzle, don't put any more in. Just like this, be very gentle, be very careful. Beautiful, and once these get nice and golden brown, we're gonna flip them over. Now they're gonna give you an indication when it's time to turn them. You're gonna to start to see a beautiful golden brown color towards the bottom of those potatoes, and then we'll flip them. Okay, everyone, I want you all to take a look at the patties. They're still cooking, and they're not to the point to where I feel like I could take my spatula and move them without them breaking. So we're just gonna let them be, let them cook until they get a nice, beautiful golden brown crust on the bottom, and then we'll be able to flip them. Meanwhile, I wanna take some sour cream, and we wanna get it into a ramekin, cause that's gonna be one of our dipping sauces. You like, you can't have this potato patty without sour cream. Let's put a little bit of green in there, which is our parsley, just to make it nice and beautiful. And I have cheese sauce. Who doesn't love cheese and potatoes? I know I do. So cheese sauce will be one of the ramekins as well. And we're also gonna have ketchup. One of my fond memories of eating these potato patties as a kid is I would dip them in ketchup. When I come back, we'll flip these over. Okay, everyone, time to flip them. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and flip one of them on camera and I'll flip the others off camera because they're kind of popping and I don't want oil on my camera. So let's give it a quick flip. It's gonna be really quickly, just like so. You see that? Oh my goodness. That's the color you're gonna want to achieve. It's crispy, it's golden, it's gorgeous. Take a look. Really quick and simple. Now, here's what I wanna talk about. When I flip these, um, you wanna flip them quickly because they are mashed potatoes and they are still soft on the other side. So it's just kinda like, get that um, spatula under there, flip them over really quickly because otherwise, your mashed potatoes are gonna start running down your spatula. Look here, everybody. <laughs> I'm speechless. I am speechless. They are beautiful. Potato patties, Gina Young style. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this hair video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know. Tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. We're gonna say a really quick prayer and you all are gonna get that first bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we wanna thank you for another beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head. The food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's dive in. I can't wait any longer. When is the last time you had homemade potato patties? Make you some. Look at this, guys. This one right here. Oh, this one is calling my name. And it's, cri oh, <laughs> you know what I was gonna say. It's crispy on the outside, light, airy, and fluffy. And all of those amazing flavors. Everything you love in a loaded baked potato, we've put it in here. Yes, we did. We got that smoked ham in there. We got that cheesy cheese in there. Use you some sour cream. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Take a bite. I'm going in. Mmm. I'm going back in. My goodness, once you taste this, you're gonna want this every day for breakfast. Heck, you're gonna want this every day for dinner. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. I'm going in with the sour cream. Just a little bit will do me. Going in. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm. And as always, mm, mm, mm. God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. 
Good night and that's good. Mm-hmm.